Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a two-part series of a haul uh, from which I've accumulated stuff for like the past month or so. Um, but I'm gonna do, the first part I'm gonna do is kind of like more affordable products that I've purchased. And then the second part will be more my luxury products that I purchased. So um, if you'd like to see what I purchased, just keep watching. So the first thing that I purchased is something that I'm so excited about. I haven't used them, but this particular thing was expensive as the, as the way I purchased it. But if you buy them separately, they're very reasonable, very affordable, and they're great to have. So the first thing I purchased was a Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush set. Now, this brush set was over $100, but it comes with, and I also used her discount code that she provides, but it comes with all of these brushes here that you can see. And this set, like I said, was over $100. Um, I have quite a few brushes, but there's a lot of brushes that I've had for a long time, for years, and that I need to get rid of. Only because after time, your brushes tend to wear and tear um, the more you keep using them. So yeah, so I bought this set and I really am excited to use it. And like I said, it was expensive, but if you buy Morphe brushes individually, then you'll pay a lot less for them than you would high-end brushes. And they're just as good as high-end brushes. Also, um, if you wanna go onto Jaclyn Hill's YouTube channel, you can get her discount code for these brushes. The next items that I purchased are these Maybelline The City Mini Palettes. Now, I heard these palettes were really, really good. But these are the palettes and they look like this. And I got the uh, City Mini Palette in Urban Jungle, and I purchased the one in Rooftop Bronzes. I heard this one was really, really pretty. And then I got the City Mini Palette in Concrete Runway, and it looks like this. I hardly ever wear blues, but um, I'm willing to try it. There's a, there's a deep purple in here too that's really pretty, so I'm excited about trying these. Another thing I purchased based on some YouTube reviews was this Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. And I got mine in the shade Medium Light and I heard this was really, really good. Um, I'm hoping that it'll work with under my eyes um, because I do have a little drying and then fine lines and so I'm hoping that this will um, kind of, you know, um, give it more of a softer feel. So I'm just looking to maybe use this and see how it works out and I'll let you guys know. Another thing I purchased is this Aquaphor um, healing ointment. I actually use the Aquaphor lip treatment, but I can use this as well for my lips. This is actually what I use on dry skin and dry chapped lips, and I love it. So Aquaphor is a great, great product. This one came in a set of two, and I bought these at Walmart. So um, if you're looking for something for dry skin um, that really works, the Aquaphor healing ointment is perfect. I also purchased this Maskology Mask Cleanse with Bubble Technology from Walmart. I have not used this, but it says here, gently cleanses with a light exfoliation and it has antioxidants help detoxify your skin while refining your pores and brightens the overall appearance of your skin. So I'm excited about using this. This is what it looks like. I've never used this brand before, but um, I'm hoping this mask cleanse will work for me. I also purchased this Maybelline Totally Toffee number 115 Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. I have used this. Um, as you can see, I got into the package, but um, looks like this. It's just a you know thin liner, and um, the color is totally toffee. I actually use that today. This stuff is creamy. It goes on so smooth, and I really like it. Um, I just wanted to try it. I've never tried their Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liners. I think these are brand new, um, but I hadn't tried one, so I wanted to try one, and I tried this color, and I love it. Another Maybelline product that I purchased are these Maybelline, um, they are called Superstay Matte Ink, and they look like this. 
and I purchased the color Pioneer, which is the red. Let me turn that around. And then I purchased Heroin, which is like an orangey red color. And then I purchased Lover. I've used actually Pioneer and Heroin, and I'm telling you, these are so beautiful. They stay on um, quite a bit all day. I, I didn't have, I really didn't see too much transfer with them, but um, which is a good thing because um, you really don't want your lipstick to transfer, especially the liquid lipstick, but I didn't see too much transfer with them and they wore beautifully. They didn't dry out my lips and they're very pigmented. So this was um, a really good buy for me, especially these colors for the summer months are, are great. Another thing that I purchased from Maybelline is this Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter and this is in the color Molten Gold. I don't know if you can see it. It's a beautiful gold color. I don't know if you can tell the color, but it's just a beautiful gold color. And I heard this was really, really good and very creamy, so I'm excited about using this. Another concealer that I bought was this Revlon Youth FX Fill and Blur Concealer. This is another concealer that I wanted to try because, um, you know, like I said, I have the fine lines. I wanted to see if it really blurs. Um, I'm hoping it does. It says it has microspheres and optical diffusers. Um, and so it says immediately corrects the appearance of dark circles and lines and wrinkles. So I'm really excited about using this. I'm hoping that this will work for me. Um, if it does, I'll let you guys know. I purchased this BH Cosmetics Concealer and Corrector in Medium, and it's a six color corrector palette. And I got this at Ulta. They carry BH Cosmetics in here where I live. And it's a little tin type of container. And it also has all the corrector colors in there for me to use. Now, um, I don't know that I'll use the green or the yellow much, but I know these other colors will probably work for me, but I'm excited about using something different. I use the Maybelline corrector. I think if you've watched my videos, you've seen that I wore, it's like a six palette correcting uh, kit. And so I thought, well, you know what? I'm gonna try this and it, this was really inexpensive and I think that um, these colors will work for me. Two lip products that I also purchased were these Re Revlon Metallic Metalik Ultra HD matte lip color, but these are metallic matte lip colors. And I got the colors HD Gleam and HD Glow. And of course I really love nude colors, so I'm excited to try these. I've never tried a uh, liquid lip color from Revlon, but I heard they were pretty good. But um, I'm going to go ahead and try these out for myself and see how they work out. So I went to Sally's Beauty Supply and I walked in just, I was actually going to get some products that I needed to replenish and I'll show you those because I have those too. So when I walked into Sally's, I saw the Ardell display, you know, where the eyelashes are. Well, they had these lipsticks and also some eyeshadow products and um, mascaras. I was excited to try these. These are the Hydra lipsticks by Ardell, and I got the colors Nude You Say and Slipped Away. And this is Slipped Away here. And it's just a beautiful, a beautiful peachy pink color. And then I've got this one, which I have on my lips today. It's called Slipped Away. And this is more peach color. And I'll swatch these for you so you can see them. I did not know Ardell sold cosmetics. I honestly did not know that. But I also purchased this Irresistible Shadow Stick and it's in the color Nude Touching. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's a beautiful bronzy shadow stick. There's the Shadow Stick in Nude Touching. This color in the middle is Nude You Say and then Slipped Away is right here at the end. And also Slipped Away is actually what I have on my lips today. But I was, I was surprised, y'all. I did not know, like I said, I did not know that Ardell sold 
Cosmetics. Okay, another thing, a couple of things that I went into Sally's for were these Face Secrets Disposable um, Mascara Wands. And I use these because I have extensions on my eyelashes. And so I use these to just kind of brush them out and it kind of maintains them. It keeps them from getting all tangled up. So I use those. And then I got this Ion Keratin Smoothing Mask for my hair. Um, because I wanted something, I since I dye my hair all the time, I wanted to see how this mask worked for my hair. I'm going to try it. One thing that I bought um, from Target was this Well People Bio Brightener Invisible Powder. Now, there is a YouTuber, and I can't remember her name. Um, gosh, what is her name? I can't remember her name, but I'll list her below because I, I follow her and I love her videos. She says this Well People is better for your skin and it's comparable to the La Mer um, setting powder, which is really expensive and which I purchased too. And so I'm going to compare them myself, um, but this was only like, I want to say like 20 bucks at, at Target, but she did a comparison with and she actually had the old La Mer powder. Um, the new one is the one I have. They don't sell the old La Mer powder anymore. They kind of revamped it and made it a little different. So I bought the new one, but she said that this one is so much better. And so for 20 bucks, I'm going to try it. And if it works, I'm taking the other one back. So anyway, this is supposed to be really good stuff. So when I went to Ulta, I did see the NYX um, display that was on the end cap and it had these pinup pouts and I only got one. I got, um, what color is this? It does, oh, Corset. I think that's the name of it, Corset. Yeah, so it's pinup pout and it's the name Corset and it's just this really beautiful um, kind of pink mauve color. It looks like that right there. When I purchased this color, I already tried it on my lips and it felt really creamy and smooth. Um, so I'm just gonna see how it wears. Um, I tried it on, but I didn't wear it all day. So I'm just gonna see how it wears and I'll let you guys know. I purchased this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Long Wear Powder. Okay guys, my battery died. So anyway, like I was saying, I bought the Infallible Pro Glow Powder. It's a long wear powder that's a demi-glow finish air and light texture and it also comes with a highlighter well i purchased this in the color sun beige and i'll show you what it looks like here it is and as you can see the powder is here and the highlighter is here now when i put this on today all i did was kind of swirl my brush in there and then put it all over my face i didn't use these separately um and i i guess that's how you do it i'm not sure if you could use it separately well it says here in the back hold on it says apply all over for a subtle glow then build by highlighting key features okay so i didn't do that what i did was i swirled it all in there and then i put it all over my face and i have that on today and i love it so far so good now I don't know how long it wears or how many times I'll have to touch up with it because I just purchased it and used it today. So hopefully it works out. Uh, the next thing that I bought with it was the Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. Now I have only seen maybe one person do a review on this, so I don't know how well it works. What I'll do is go ahead and use it and then let you guys know how it works. But it, um, she claimed that it was really good and um, that it stayed on really well, um, had a nice consistency to it, and that it also covered um, dark circles. So let me check this out for myself and see how it goes and then I'll let you guys know. But I used today's powder with the Pro Glow um, foundation. So that's what I have on my face today. Now I didn't purchase these, these were purchased a while back but um, I have the shades 208 and 209 and I mix them to get my color. But putting this on top, I mean, I love the look. It's a very soft look. Um, so I don't know, I hope this works out for me. 
So the last thing I want to show you is some MAC products that I purchased. And two of the items that I bought were from the Juicy line. I think that's the line, um, the name of the line. But um, it's B Biana, I don't know how to say this, Biana Bronze, Bronzing Powder and Delphic Studio Sculpt Defining Bronzing Powder. Two different types of bronzing powders. One of them is more of a matte finish, that's the Biana Bronze. And that's what I use today to contour. So it's a more of a matte finish, but it goes on so creamy, it's beautiful. And then the other one is Delphic, and I think Delphic was part of another line too. Um, and I didn't purchase it at that time, but I got it this time, and it's more of a warm type of bronzer. And it, it's uh, more of like a diffusing bronzer. It's really soft. Um, but two different bronzers, and I have used these. I have them on today, and I absolutely love them. And the last thing I bought for MAC was this MAC Mineralize um, Light Plus. Now, I saw this YouTuber, her name's Chloe, I think, and I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but she is the, um, and I'll list her down below, new face for Rimmel in our Ireland. And so she's such a beautiful girl. Um, I'll link her down below so you guys can check her out. But um, she actually uses um, the mineralized skin finish. And I think she uses it in light. And she uses it in her T-zone, underneath her eyes. Anywhere where you want your face to be brightened, that's where she uses it. So I went into MAC and they told me to go ahead and use Light Plus. And that's what this looks like. I used it today and I absolutely love the look it's so pretty and um like i said i got that idea from her and she's such a beautiful girl um like i said check her out I'll, I'll link her down below but i had no idea that i could use this to brighten my face but i love it so um and i have used this already um like i said today i have it on and i absolutely love it so that's it for my affordable products. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you want to see a tutorial using these products or if you just want me to test something out. I will be testing out the concealers for sure. Um, and maybe I'll do a, a video on concealers and that way I can just let you guys know how they worked out. But um, either way, thank you for watching and um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and we'll hope to see you soon. Thank you, bye.